Well, today we're going to see the procedure laparoscopic presacral neurectomy. The laparoscopic presacral neurectomy is a procedure where we excise part of the superior hypogastric plexus that is right here towards the left side of the middle sacral artery and vein. Here in a video, we can see that we're tenting the peritoneum on the presacral space that is right here. This is the presacral space where we can see the right common iliac vein and artery, the left common iliac vein and artery, that are right here and right here. Bifurcation of the aorta will be right here and the sacral promontory. Right here. We're tenting the peritoneum of the presacral space. Here we're using the harmonic scalpel to open the peritoneum. When performing this procedure, it's important to go towards the left side of the middle sacral artery and vein since most of the superior hypogastric plexus is going to be to the, towards the left side. Right here. You can see right here, middle sacral artery and vein, right here. Sacral promontory. with midline type of pain suprapubically. It doesn't work for pain that is lateral. It's more for midline type of pain. Patients with endometriosis, adenomyosis will benefit from this procedure. Here we're opening the presacral space, so we are opening the peritoneum inferiorly and superiorly. Here you can see the middle sacral vein and artery right here. So now we're opening the peritoneum superiorly. There's a lot of little small vessels that easily can be controlled with a harmonic scalpel or any other type of bipolar energy. Tenting the peritoneum will prevent a lesion to the middle sacral artery or vein that are right here. Most of the hypogastric plexus is going to be close to the left common iliac vein, this area right here, towards the left side. So we're talking about right here. So when entering this space, it's important to have good hemostasis. So that way we can visualize all the structures. We obtain hemostasis here with a harmonic. If you encounter a bleeding from the middle sacral artery or vein, it can be easily controlled with a bipolar instrument. So remember to go more towards the left side of this sacral artery and vein that are right here. You can start seeing fibers of the hypogastric nerve in this area. Here we're cleaning the space from the areolar tissue so that way we can see better the different structures. You can see here again, middle sacral artery and vein. More towards the left side. 
we're going to find most of the hypogastric plexus. Most of the hypogastric plexus is going to be around here. So going again through the anatomy of the pretrigal space is important to visualize first the middle sacral artery and vein. When opening the presacral space, go more towards the left side of the sacrum because there we're going to find most of the hypogastric nerve. Right here, we can see the left common area vein right here. A critical step when tenting the hypogastric plexus is to be sure that we're not tenting the left common iliac vein. It is easily to injure the left common iliac vein. Sometimes the vein comes together with a plexus. So here we're seeing that we're tenting fiber endings. And it's important not to tent the left common iliac vein. Reason why here this is very important to have hemostasis so we can see the different structures. Complications of the presacral neurectomy would be constipation and urinary retention, but it's very rare. But the most severe complication can be injury to the left common iliac vein. To have a better result with this type of procedure, it is important to excise at least two centimeters of the hypogastric nerve. Middle sacral vein and artery are right here towards the right side of the video. Hypogastric plexus right here and at least two centimeters of the nerve is excised. Sacral promontory right here. Below the plexus, you can start seeing the sacrum. And there's still fibers of the nerve right here. Middle sacral artery and vein right here. So two structures that are, are very easily injured with this type of procedures would be the middle sacral artery and vein that are more towards the right side of the hypogastric plexus. And most important, importantly is to differentiate the nerve from the left common iliac vein. Two centimeters of plexus is excised to have better results. This procedure is done outpatient. Patient, when recovers from anesthesia, can go home. So 
So here you can see part of the hypogast reflexes, and here you start seeing the sacrum. The sacrum is right here, and fibers of the plexus still there's right here. And the middle sacral vein and artery are right here. Bifurcation of the aorta. Hemostasis of this space is important. So here we have open the presacral space. You can see the middle sacral artery and vein. And here you can still see some fibers of the hypogastric plexus and the left common iliac vein that is right here. Reason why is very easily to injure this right left common iliac vein. You can see here the sacrum. So we already transected at least two centimeters of the hypogastric nerve. Basically here we're done with the procedure. You, I'm opening the space so you can see the middle sacral vein and artery right here. Hypogastric nerve was around here. After that, with the procedure and being sure that the space is dry and good hemostasis, we're closing the space with a single suture of tool vico in tracoporeal fashion. We're working with a small needle. And here we're finishing with a knot tying. When removing the needle, it's important to follow the needle all the way to the choker. Since we're working with very small needles, it's very easy to lose the needle in the abdomen. Thank you.